My name is Larry Campbell. I'm president and owner of AFAB Precision Machining in Lake Forest, California. The company was started 41 years ago in 1971. That was done by my father, Joseph Campbell. Uh, we started out in the medical industry and have always been in the medical industry. And in 2008, I took over ownership of AFAB Precision. And as of 2010, I identified the need for uh, new technology and automation. It was part of the business plan to add this technology and we were going to do it on other equipment, but because of issues with multiple companies, we pulled back and went with Makino because they had a turnkey system. The Makino FMS system has allowed us to improve our quality, improve our efficiencies, and our flexibility so that we can supply our customer with just-in-time parts. Well, our impression of Makino, uh, first and foremost, was the equipment, uh, but second to that was the people that we've been involved with. Uh, the support has been fantastic. Uh, the machine has lived up to our expectations, and we're potentially going to be increasing our investment in Makino equipment to include five axis um, and more FMS system. Uh, as we grow in the future and open up into new markets, we want to have the capability to allow us to service more and new customers. Over the last year or so, we've really been able to realize a lot of those goals that Larry saw four or five years ago, you know, when he first started envisioning putting new technology to use. The number of part numbers as well as the quantities of parts have just outpaced what we expected in 2012 versus 2013, 2014. The, the ramp up has just been, it's a breakneck speed, you could say. Um, although it's great, if we didn't have the Makino, uh, there's just no way we could, could have kept up with it. I understand they're very complex machines, there's a lot going on, every once in a while there's going to be a problem. So when I first walked on the floor here with the Makino system running, I was expecting some of these problems. Uh, it's a very complex tool magazine. You've got a robot that, a um, couple of robots that are in charge of making sure the tool is staged, the right tool is staged. Uh, you've got high performance spindle running very high RPMs. You've got a lot of chips that can build up in the machine. There's you know, 300 gallons of coolant that can cause problems. You've got a PC controller, you've got a system controller, you've got a machine tool controller. Uh, there's so many things that can go wrong. So my expectation was at some point I'm going to come in at 7 o'clock in the morning and the machine's going to be down because something happened. It threw a tool somewhere or coolant all over the floor. And my expectations in that regard have not been met. So the machine does not break. The machine just keeps making parts. And the machine keeps making good parts. But my expectations in that area had just been exceeded. It basically just keeps doing what it says it's going to do. And Based on that, we've been able to take a number of jobs that we would run conventionally in, in other means and other machining centers and have the confidence of just putting it over on the Makino and never have to worry about it again. What matters most to AFAB Precision Machining would be the commitment to our customers. Uh, our customers' um, innovation provides for improved quality of life for many people, and um, we are not happy standing still. So we invest in technology and new processes to support that innovation, and we do that by using um, the Makino FMS system. Um, we view our customer's success as our success.